What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the Android server on my man Malacrux's account. Android got the new update today and my man Malacrux already got super lucky and rolled the new hero, I believe he said within the first three, four fifties, which is just insanely lucky. So of course we're going to be testing out the new hero, Commodore, reading her skill over, testing her out in all kinds of different game modes, seeing how much damage she does and how effective she is going to be. So first let's go ahead and read her skill. We got drop anchor now this is a two-part hero so she has a proc to her then she also has another way of dishing out her main damage from her anchor through when she gets hit so let's go ahead and read her skill we got increases this hero's attack by a hundred percent for four seconds hero also reflects 50 percent of all incoming damage for four seconds now remember this is her actual proc so, increases this hero's attack by 100%. That's pretty decent for 4 seconds. The big key here, though, is reflects 50% of all incoming damage for 4 seconds. So, really, you're going to want to have her full energy. No doubt about that. Constantly proccing, reducing all that damage by 50%. The cooldown on it is 4 seconds as well. So, the next part of her skill is when attacked, this hero deals 250% attack damage to enemy targets in a nearby area and recovers HP equal to 50% of the damage dealt. Cool down a half a second. All right, and as you can see, he went with a level eight regenerate talent, which honestly fits this hero pretty well. Now he is just testing this talent out. So we got raises hero's energy recovery by 100% and healing by 100%. Okay, so what that means is pretty much Commodore is going to be full energy at all times, which is going to allow her pretty much to be able to proc every four seconds, and that's going to keep her damage reduced by 50%, which is huge. But not only that, all her splash damage that heals her by 50% of the damage dealt is now going to be doubled by Regenerate as well. Now, the thing about Regenerate is it's a majorly defensive talent, and in my personal opinion, this hero is going to be used for, let's say, Forgotten Trials mainly, and also Dungeons mainly. Probably, maybe some HBM, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe not either, though. I don't know. It depends on how much damage she actually puts out. But speaking of damage, that's probably the way I'm going to go with her main talent, just because damage is what you're going to be looking for, right? That AoE splash to take out those magic towers, to take out those heroes from a far distance in Dungeons and Forgotten Trials. So as a crest set, we got level six Zealous Drive and it grants one range, which is going to be very nice for this new hero. No doubt about that. We also got a little bit of extra attack and some damage reduced. We already have Commodora inscribed to 100 as well. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the armory and see what we got. So we got five of five Sanctified Blast. When attacked, has a 20% chance to deal 560% attack damage and removes all buffs from a nearby hero. Honestly, this isn't a very good uh, enchantment talent for Commodore. So he's going to probably be changing that sooner than later. No doubt about that. As for or, uh, traits, we got... Wow. All five stars. I did not expect to see that. All five stars traits all the way across the board. This is actually like the perfect traits that you want, honestly. I mean, two accuracies, that's huge, plus three attacks. Can't really get better than that, and why not add a crit in there as well? This is a perfect setup, in my opinion, for Commodora. No doubt about that. So, let's go ahead and get into the dungeon and test out. My favorite dungeon to test out damage really is Expert... What is it? Is it Expert? Oh yeah, Expert 8. Yeah, 810. Because these middle dragons right here, the middle dragon and all those middle bosses, they don't take in a limited amount of damage, right? So you can literally proc for the most the hero can proc for. So it's nice to see all that damage. So let's see. I'm real curious to see what this hero is procking for. This is going to be very important. So we got 100,000 damage. I saw some 230,000 damage. I think that's the highest I've seen so far. Still, 230,000 is the highest. Come on, show me some big boy props. Okay, so there's 420,000 damage. All right, she's about to die. Let me go. Oh, I guess I could have seen how tanky she was, but I just automatic. Oops, I didn't mean to even do that. I just automatically assumed she was going to die. Another thing we can check is the heals as well. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so see how much she's healing for. She's pretty much staying at full life. I guess that stuff really isn't doing that much damage to her, to be honest with you. All right, what kind of damage do we got? We got, I had a crit right there, but I couldn't quite see how much damage that was. We got 250k, 383,000 damage crit. Yeah, this damage is pretty low. To be, oh, 700,000 damage. Okay, now we're starting to see some damage. 
All right, so she she did die, but that's okay. We got like a hundred thousand gems, so we can just go ahead and revive her right up. Oh, where's this hero at? There she is, right there. All right, let's get back in. So we saw a basically four or what was that? Six hundred and seventy thousand damage, I believe, is the highest crit so far, which is actually nice to see because after seeing the big boy crits, I mean that makes me want to stack damage even more because we want to see one million plus damage from her, no doubt. All right, come on, show me some big damage. What do we got here? We got a lot of 400,000s in the house. We got some 300,000s as well. She's about to fall over again, probably. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get the heck out of there. And let's just do it one more time. Just to see if we can get anything above 600,000. And then we'll go into a uh, different mode. Let's see. Come on. What do we got? Let's see some more 400,000. So it looks like the basic attack is like 400,000. Or no, like 250 to 400,000 damage. Somewhere around in there, depending on the RNG. Saw some 300,000s there. Yeah, so I mean the highest crit we've gotten is over 600,000, but average damage anywhere from 200 to 450,000, I would say. Somewhere in between that. There's another almost 700,000 damage crit. That was actually nice to see. We'll take that. What do we got coming here? Are you going to be able to solo this? I'm just going to let her die right here. Come on, give me a proc right in the middle of all that stuff. All right, well, not bad. Overall, I mean, I think this hero is still going to be pretty freaking good, especially for dungeons, no doubt about that, or not overall, but yeah, in, in that dungeon aspect. Now what I want to do, let's go ahead and run, I don't know which dungeon I want to run, but let's run like a harder, insane dungeon just to see how much effect, how many procs she has, and what all she has going. We'll just do, can we can, can we even beat Insane 6? I, I didn't like go through these heroes and set up a dungeon team, so I don't even know. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and drop here. Well, we won't lead out with her. We'll lead out with Levanica, of course. And then we can still should be able to see, like, what she's doing to damage to buildings. I mean, she's putting these towers after each proc. Basically, I'd say... Oh, she had a 700,000 damage crit right there. She's already dead, though. She's actually the only hero dead in the group, which is kind of surprising. One thing I actually forgot to do that I'll do right now is show you guys her stats. Her stats are actually really good. They're really good. Her damage overall is above average. Her life, however, is like almost up there with Michael. 300,000 life. Her attack speed, pretty slow. Her run speed, pretty slow as well. So, I mean, not bad. Overall, I am a huge fan of her stats. She's definitely not going to be getting attacked first because she does have a ton of HP. All right, so let's get back in here. Maybe I should start off. I don't have any, uh, I don't have freaking... Snowstorm. We'll give her that. We'll give all these heroes the invulnerability at the start. I give her invulnerability. Let's give them all invulnerability. Yes, yeah, so, I mean she just got a couple procs over and over right there. She's taking these buildings down a decent amount. She is dying quite quickly though, which is kind of sad times. All right, let me get let me get back. Now I do have Dove Keeper, Lavanica, and all heroes that only take in a certain amount of damage. So I guess she should probably be one of the first heroes that dies besides Pumpkin Duke. Let me go ahead and res these guys up. I want to go back into that dungeon, except this time I want to actually throw down a snowstorm. That way we don't just get owned right at the start. I'm like not even trying to beat the dungeon. I'm just throwing everything down on the side. All right, so let's go ahead and use a snowstorm right here. And let's go ahead. I'm not very good at running dungeons on PC, to be honest with you. All right, so now we're looking okay. All right, what do we got for damage? I see some... Oh, I almost saw... I saw a million damage proc right there. But remember, that is with the... Uh, with the relics, or what are those things called? Yeah, relics. The thing is, is she's just not really, in my opinion, dishing out enough damage to some of these buildings. That's what I'm kind of paying attention here. I mean, yeah, she's hitting them for 200,000 damage, but it's not, it's not like enough. She's only bringing them down like a quarter of the way per each proc. So I, I'm i pretty sure we're going to need to stack a lot more damage on her because we're going to need to at least bring these buildings down to like half life, right? If she, I mean, even with, even with the extra speed attack buff right here, still isn't dishing out like enough damage. She does one shot a building though if she gets a crit in there. But look at the hero's life that she's procking on. 
Like all these heroes, that's where she just procced twice in a row. There's another third time in a row. Now Levanica just got a hold of them. And as you can see, once Levanica gets a hold of them, everything's falling over. But yeah, I mean, overall, I think the hero's definitely going to be a big help. It'd be really cool if that anchor, like, was like a cold anchor and froze everything that it touched. That'd be freaking cool. That would definitely add to her. But I don't know. Her damage, her damage honestly, is just feeling a little bit weak. Not to be able to one-shot some of these towers and heroes in this dungeon. I don't really know how helpful that is in the dungeon, honestly. It's really just filling up all those heroes' energy for whenever we get next to them. They're all about to proc on us is what it kind of feels like, to be honest with you. All right, let's go ahead and test her out in some HBM action and see how she's running in there. Um, what HBM should we run and should we take out any other heroes? Let's just run an AG. I've actually never even run AG before, so let's see what AG's talking about. HBM AG. So... It's already, the wave one's already taken out by one Levanica Brock. That was kind of crazy. All right, come down low. Oh, there we go. We got her down low. All right, we got Dove Keeper Brock in. Oh, wait, actually. Did she help take out? I forgot. She's actually up top and not down low. Maybe her Brock took out. I didn't even see her Brock in that. that. That last wave died so quick, I didn't even quite get a glimpse of what killed it, to be honest. So I was just like, oh, AG1's already down. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so we got all three coming in from the side. We got one coming in over here. Come on, where is my comadre at? Or comadre, comadora, rather. Where is my comadora at? Where you at, comadora? Wait, comadora's dead? Comadora, how are you dead already? All right, I'm ending the battle just because we got to bring it. I'm trying to show off comadora, and I guess she died wave one. I'm not even sure. Comadora just fell over. No good, Commodore. No good. All right, I'll go ahead and slow it down now. We got through AG1. Here she goes right here. We should see some procs here unless she fell over again. Did she fall over again? Wow. I think she's already dead again. Yeah, she is. She's already dead again. Rest in peace. She is dead, right? Yeah, this hero's already dead. All right, so I'm not testing her out in HBM. Not with regenerate anymore. We literally can't see anything. I could go for an easier HBM, but then everything would just solo it and it wouldn't be quite worth my time. Let's take her in Lost Battlefield and see if she can tank anything in there. Or if or if she can get some procs off that actually dish out some deeps. All right, so let's go ahead and add her to the team. I don't want to use her with Levanica because that's going to be kind of crazy. We'll keep their energy down and use her with this squad. We'll use tankiness too. Let's just get a bunch of tanks in here. Let's get... Here's some other tanky heroes. We'll get Anubis in there and maybe a... Hey, let's throw a Michael in there. He's tanky as well. All right, there we go. This is a nice tanky team. Let's go ahead and run a Lost Battlefield with her. All right. Oh. Should I fill up the other teams or give my man a loss? Let me see what his rank is. All right. Yeah, he doesn't care about his rank today. Yeah, we'll just give him a loss. He ain't going to care that much. All right, so we'll send in Commodore. What has she got in Lost Battlefield? How many procs is she going to get off? And she got like one, two, three, four procs off. She didn't really hit these heroes for very hard either. She's probably honestly not going to be that great for Lost Battlefield. She got killed like extremely fast right there. Let's go ahead and challenge somebody else. That guy was pretty solid. All right, we got Hush showing another Michael. All right, how many procs? We got Storm Eater against us as well. We got some decent procs off there. I didn't, couldn't quite see the damage, but she definitely dealt out some damage. We are losing to pretty much every single team and not really seeing that much damage altogether. Let's go ahead and fight somebody a little bit easier. Now, I do not have, like, that beast of a setup right here. I just grabbed some random heroes, of course. So, let's see. Can we get any procs off? Mahatma's doing work. We got Ares silent, so clearly she doesn't proc by Ares. She, she's literally the first one to die in pretty much every battle we've gone to, including dungeons, HBM, everything. I don't know what to think. Where else can we test her out besides what we've done? I mean, I think that's pretty good. I kind of want to get back into uh, to dungeons right quick before I do end the video, though, because I just want to see if we can keep her from dying in some of these dungeons. Maybe, what do we got? We got Insane 10. Yeah, let's run this and see what we can do. Because we can actually see what kind of damage she has in the middle as well. And we can see her heals. So make sure to pay attention to her heals. Also, the deep she's putting out. So, I mean, tower damage still. Actually, we see I got some 800,000 damage procs in there on some of those buildings. That was pretty nice, to be honest. 
Oh, you know what? That's because Levanic is making all this stuff take 50% extra damage, too. I didn't even think about that. So, yeah, Le Levanic is definitely giving her some damage buffs. Yeah, so, I mean, you guys get the point. She's pretty beast overall. I definitely feel like Regenerate's not going to be the way to go because, for one, it's not really keeping her alive at all. It has no defense in it at all. And you're not really looking to keep her up by healing herself, right? Because she's only going to heal herself and have that uh, proc even affect every half a second. So I don't know. It seems like when this hero dies, she's literally basically getting one shot. So there's really no time for Regenerate to take place and actually be effective as a talent. So I would definitely suggest not to put Regenerate on this hero, especially for a main talent. Maybe as a crest set in the future. Overall... I think Commodore is still going to be a beast hero. I just think that the, the talent's really honestly holding us back a little bit from seeing her overall damage. So I'm sure we're going to get, we're definitely going to get some gameplay of a damage Commodore so, sooner than later. But I wanted to get this video out here. That way you guys could see what a double evolved hero, the double evolved Commodore looked like in action. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.